Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in C programming in a file handling that is uh, random access file functions. Random access files functions. And there are three functions for this random access files in C programming. That is, the first one is ftel function so we know that if you open any file, so that should be pointed to one file pointer. And once you open the file, the position of the file pointer will be set and all the read and write operations will be done with the help of this file pointer. Right. So we have seen in the previous session about how to declare the file pointer and how to initialize. That means while opening a file itself, we are initializing it to the file pointer. So th there is a one function, the first function for this random access files uh, is ftel function, which will give, give the position, the position of a file pointer, a file pointer, right? So unless the user close the file, the file pointer will be keep on moving according to the read and write operations. So ftel function is used to tell the file pointer position and the return it returns an integer data types it return integer integer value which is the position of the file pointer position of the file pointer so here in files the data will be stored in terms of character so character will occupy a one byte of data so that means so if you give a five that implies five bytes of data will be done that means five five bytes of data or we can say five characters but here the ftel function is to return an integer value which is the position of the file pointer current position where the file pointer exists right and the second one rewind rewind so this rewind function is used to get back the file pointer to starting position so it will get get back the file pointer get back the file pointer to starting position to starting position so starting position is nothing but zero the position zero right so rewind will get back the file pointer to the starting position and here the syntax uh, sorry to tell that the syntax for ftel function is ftel followed by file pointer file pointer so we have to pass the file pointer as a parameter to the ftel function so that it will give the position of the given file pointer okay. next the third one so the syntax is just rewind here the syntax is just a rewind so no arguments so simply use a rewind so that the file pointer will get back to its zero uh, zero position right and the third one is f seek function f seek function this is used to change the file pointer to the desired location that means a specific location so it will send or set the file pointer it will set the file pointer at a given location the given at a specific location we can simply say it is a specific location specific location so we can move the file pointer we can change the position of the file pointer okay so for that we are having the syntax so f seek it will take the three argument the first one is a file pointer the first one will be the file pointer and the number of bytes we should move number of bytes we should move that means the number of characters here right the third one is origin origin so that means from where it have to move the number of bytes so this origin will be seek underscore 
current seek underscore set seek underscore end end so seek underscore current means the current position current position that means at from that current position the file pointer will move this many number of bytes and seek dot set that means beginning beginning that means a zero position zero seek end means end of content end of content in a file right from that particular end of the content for example if you consider fp as a file pointer f seek comma sorry file pointer fp some zero and uh, seek underscore sorry set seek underscore set so this is nothing but seek underscore set means it automatically from the beginning it should move zero bytes that means this is equal to our rewind because after executing the rewind function also the file pointer will move towards the zeroth position similarly let us take one more example f seek of fp some file seek underscore current so whatever the current position current position of the from, from the current position of the file pointer the file pointer will move 5 bytes okay because the second of, uh, argument is a 5 bytes so the file pointer will move 5 bytes from the current position so if f seek fp some 4 seek underscore end that means the file pointer position will move 4 bytes from the end of the content end of the content for example if you go with a minus 4 minus 4 so from the end of the content it will come back with the 4 bytes of data okay negative means coming back the file pointer move back okay if it is a positive the file pointer will be keep on moving it towards a forward forward direction so if you use this fp minus 4 seek underscore end from the end the file pointer will move four bytes backwards backwards right so like this we are going to use this fseek function and fseek function is used to change the file pointer position to the specific position required position right it has the three arguments the first one is a, a current a current set and end current set and end so f tell to give the position of the file pointer rewind is to get back the file pointer to the starting position right so hope you understood this one uh, i will stop here i will explain each and every function how this function works on the compiler so let's move on to the compiler hello friends welcome back to our channel so just now we have seen the syntax as per a random file uh, access methods so now uh, i will show you the implementation part so let us uh, include the file first uh, sorry uh, header file so include stdio.h and main function and now let us uh, declare a file pointer file star fp and let us open the file so fp is equal to f open of give the path where the file is located so we'll consider one file here so already there is a file with a name file sample.txt and here we are having the data uh, welcome to file handling in c programming so we'll open this one right so just uh, go to the properties and uh, copy this one copy the path here give the file name file sample.txt file sample dot txt right and use a double uh, slashes the path so i'm using the double slashes in the path now uh, open this one in a read mode because already there is a data so we'll uh, read the data right now uh, let us read the data a few data by using the f gets get s so f get s of so f get us 
of uh, give the buffer here str comma the file pointer sorry the second one is the number of bytes right so i'll read some uh, five bytes of data from the file pointer fp so let us declare this buffer str of 100 so maximum 100 characters we can read 100 characters to the str now let us check the file pointer position so printf uh, file pointer position after reading five characters percentage d comma give the function ftl of file pointer let us check uh, return zero so let us check save this one so random access file dot c raf dot c let us execute this one and let us wait see the file pointer position after reading five characters is a four because so this fgets will read the number of characters including the termination so if you give the five characters it will read four characters and the fifth one will be the termination character right so the file pointer position is at four now initially so after reading the file let us check the file pointer position now file pointer position initially right see let us execute so file pointer position initially zero file pointer position after reading five characters four now let us ch check with the rewind after this one let us uh, use a rewind function so rewind function now let us again check the file pointer position you can see file pointer position after using rewind function after using rewind function so what is the rewind function so rewind function will get back the file pointer to the beginning of the file so you can observe here so just a second sorry sorry so let us take the file pointer here rewind of uh, fp yes so sorry in the theoretical part i have said that there will be no uh, argument but we have to take it as a fp as an argument that means a file pointer so file pointer as an argument you can see the file pointer position initially it will be zero and file pointer position after reading five characters it will be four and file pointer position after using rewind function it will be zero and now we'll apply the seek function okay so f seek so the first one will be the file pointer the number of bytes we have to move so let us take some 10 and from where the origin that means let us take the origin as seek underscore uh, current current so here what is the position uh, the current uh, position which is a zero because we have used the rewind function so it's set to zero now see the file pointer position after using seek with 10 10 bytes right now you can observe here so let us execute this one see file pointer position initially it's zero the file pointer position after reading five characters it's four and the file pointer position after using the rewind function it is zero and from current position we are moving the file pointer position to 10 bytes so the file pointer position is 10 now right so if you apply the read function if you apply the read function we will get the characters from that particular position itself see so let us take some seven characters from the fp now the fp point file pointer position is at 10 from 10 it will read 10 seven characters it will read seven characters let us check so print print f percentage yes str str function right see this is the data which is available from 10th position to 7th 
okay so as i said that seven bytes means total six characters and the last one is the termination character now right so hope you understood this one then now after reading the seven characters let us check what is the file pointer position see position after reading seven characters execute see after reading seven characters the position is at 16 right initially zero after reading five characters then the file pointer position is at four and we are using event function so it becomes zero and after that we are changing the file pointer position to 10 after re uh, by reading 10 bytes so to go into the 10 and from that we are reading the data so seven characters now the file pointer position is 16 right and now if you apply the fc function once again fc function once again so what from from not the current from let us take it set set means from the initial position from the initial position right from initial position now you can up, apply the file pointer position so moving after 10 bytes after 10 bytes from seek underscore set okay now you can observe here see 0 4 0 10 16 and again the file pointer position using seek with 10 bytes that means here you can see fp 10 seek set set means beginning from the beginning 10 positions it means again it will be at it will be at 10 okay it will be at 10 similarly let us take f seek f seek seek end okay and here let us take it as a minus 10 minus 10 now let us see this one file pointer position seek with minus 10 bytes with seek end okay now let us check what is the file pointer position now you can observe 0 4 0 10 16 10 and the file pointer position with the seek with the minus 10 bytes from seek underscore end that means from the end it will get back the position backwards with the 10 characters so it, it becomes a 31 now the file pointer is at 31 now if you start reading or writing obviously from the 31th position we will get the data right so this is how we can apply the random access file functions that is a ftl rewind and fc fc is to change the file pointer position based upon the origin that means like seek underscore current or seek underscore set or seek underscore end current means from the current position it will move 10 bytes that means how the number of bytes we have given as a second parameter so that many number of bytes will be moved if it is a positive it will move to the forward if it is a negative it will move the back backwards and seek underscore set is from the beginning position from the beginning position the number of bytes will be moved either forward or backward based upon the sign of the value if it is a positive value it is a forward move if it is a negative value it will be the backward move and similarly end means from the end end of the content okay end of the content it will back or a front right so hope you understood these three functions the random axle file functions in c programming so let's stop here and if you really enjoyed my session uh, like my session share my session and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, three functions feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much